every area of your office or home at all the time. Also freezing a CCTV camera is not a big deal. Hence it cannot be considered as a foolproof method for crime prevention. Talking about the IP camera, the main drawback is that it requires a lot of memory space. Here is a statistics which clearly shows that it takes a lot of memory for recording data depending upon the video formats ranging from 200 GB to 1000 GB per month. But the real challenge lies in establishing a discrimination between human and animal. The existing system fails to discriminate and records and alerts every single entry. This is a USB camera connected to your PC where you have your LabVIEW installed so that you can access your camera using your uh, LabVIEW being installed there. Then you have your microcontroller which is nothing but ARM M0 Cortex. This is also connected to your driver IC so that this driver IC can control your stepper motor. The input for this uh, driver IC is from the ARM board uh, so that this drives your uh, stepper motor according to the step angles which is uh, pre-programmed you also have your PIR sensor which detects any motion and it updates your microcontroller now this microcontroller gives the step angle to the motor to which it has to tilt you can also take this camera and mount it onto your stepper motor so that this tilts according to the tilt angle which you require if PIR sensor detects any motion the camera fixed onto the stepper motor is tilted accordingly so that it focus the sensed portion. This is a serial communication VI which is included in your main VI as a sub VI. We have the settings required for your serial communication such as your COM port number, baud rate, parity bits, uh, flow control, data bits, stop bits. This is a visa read function which is used for reading PIR values from your embed board. When any change in your PIR detect is observed, it is just indicated by an event structure by a boolean. For serial communication, your visa resource name is specified here. And when your PIR sensor detects anything, it is updated onto your lab view. This is the Vision Acquisition Express VI. It is configured to capture continuous images. It is given a value of 5 so that it can take up to 6 images. The image out is saved using IMAQ write function. Here comes the difficulty in saving 6 images by giving a single path name. So we have a block over there where multiple string and numeric operations are done in a single while loop to obtain 6 paths. The string is then converted into path and this is then given as input to IMAQ function. <laughs> 